Hi, a very good afternoon to you, and it's good to Hi have there. you back after a while. All away, right, a okay. couple of weeks away. Yeah, yeah, you have yeah. a good trip abroad? Very good, yes, yeah. very good. A monsoon in Delhi. A monsoon. Um, so well, yeah. uh, there we go, and so things are back to normal again, uh -huh. and we'll be doing this free will news once a week. Um, uh, we appreciate uh, you viewing, and, and uh, um, uh, here what, here's what we have in store for you today. Uh, so I'm just going to um, talk very briefly about what's happening uh, in the website at the moment. So we've just released uh, a couple updates, one from Alex Poole, our seeds trader, and one from Ishan, um, our Brazil nuts trader, and he's touched upon the, the, the fact that the Brazil nut market's quite slow. Uh, so you can watch those videos down uh, by clicking on the, the relevant product section and, look, and looking at our news feed. Okay, so um, uh, currency and what's happening with the economy at the moment. So the Athens stock market is pretty much still in red, isn't it? Uh, well, it's. Uh, I think it went down 20% on Monday, the first, no, 30% on Monday when it went down, then another 30% and then another 20%. So, you know, there's a, sort of like a flight of capital. Yeah. And uh, it seems to be mainly on the Greek banks that these uh, runs have been. So. Uh, as far as uh, I can see that there's now uh, a huge uh, secondary effect of the the lack of cash uh, uh, going around uh, there's some odd things that I've noticed like apparently people are only allowed to buy shares in the banks with cash right so this is trying to get some of the money which is uh, been taken out and put behind a loose brick in the house yeah um, you know at the end of the day people have to have a faith that the in the notes that they hold etc uh, they have to have if they're going to put money in the bank they have to have faith that uh, it's going to come back out they'll be able to take it out uh, they're going to have to uh, really work hard at building up some sort of uh, uh, trust in the banks again. Mm -hmm. And some sort of sustainability, right? Yeah. I mean... I, I don't know if you put that uh, article that uh, Shelby wrote uh, you about. No, we put it up actually earlier this week. Uh, yeah. yeah, so that's, that's quite interesting. It shows what happens. And in one case, she goes into a, a cafe and they say, unless you're going to come and eat a whole meal, mm -hmm. then we're not going to, we're not going to just serve you coffee and cakes. Yeah. Uh, because they only have a limited amount of food in right. that restaurant yeah. and they want to open for the shortest amount of yeah. time and turn that limited amount of cash around. Yeah. So, so that's an interesting for your information there is an article I recently asked one of our employees to write a, uh, an article about what's happening in Greece from a tourist perspective you know just from a daily basis what's happening every day um, so that's that's on the website there <laughs> and uh, that that same effect is there in uh, in all Greek business uh, you know uh, frankly uh, it's getting very hard to turn around what little money there is mm -hmm. Um, and production is down in a lot of Greek factories, production is creeping to a halt. Yeah. So uh, I don't see anything, this is like a, a messy divorce mm -hmm. where everybody's apologized and uh, they're going to carry on but when you actually look at the case, right. nothing has improved, in fact it's getting harder and harder to recover. Okay. So the markets are having their say now after all the politicians. Um, let's look broadly, so let's look at what's happening broadly speaking. Um, all the prices are slightly up, but I don't think that's going to have a significant effect. No, behind all this, people are looking at the reappearance of uh, Iran now that the uh, uh, radioactive deal has been signed. Uh, or radioactive is in nuclear. <laughs> yeah, well, it's yeah. about yeah. whether they yeah. can have radioactive plants. Yeah. But the effect of that will be a huge uh, unleashing of uh, oil reserves onto the, onto the market. And so, uh, because of that, there's uh, uh, a reduction <laughs> in uh, expectations of whether the price is going to go. Yeah. People actually feel the price yeah. in the long run is going to go down. Yeah, yeah. So further. What, what about what about interest rates? So recently, the Bank of England governor uh, speculated upon a, a slight increase in interest rates around November time this year, and obviously we're seeing yeah, yeah. Uh, how that could affect. Yeah. Um, yeah. Completely unrelated to our business, yeah. but mortgages and property. Yeah. Um, uh, how can how 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 are we seeing that's going to play out? Well, uh, it, it's um, it's a tough call. This uh, f for a kickoff, uh, euro dollar, which is the biggest game in town, 
uh, that was very much affected by this Greek stuff. And then we've seen high volatility coming out of that. Yeah. Normally, uh, when there isn't that kind of event or a war event, um, then people work on the basis of what the interest rates are likely to be doing. Yeah. <coughs> and for a long time, interest rates have been down as low as you can possibly have them to try and stimulate uh, an, an economy which may be going, a uh, global economy may be going into deflation. Now, it looks like uh, the Americans are very uh, strongly indicating that they may put an interest rate through mm -hmm. in uh, September, uh, possibly October. Yeah. Uh, and that is, uh, uh, that's the big thing now is who's going to raise their interest rates first. So it's almost certain like it's going to be uh, the US and the UK has also signaled that um, it's quite likely to put up interest rates. Mm -hmm. uh, today is Thursday, so the Bank of England meeting will be today and it's a triple whammy. Three reports will come out. The inflation report will come out at the same time. Uh, but... I think a lot of people feel that given that interest rates uh, are about mortgages and uh, our whole economy seems to be predicated on, uh, uh, on property yeah. prices going up, uh, that actually the, the Bank of England will stay its hand as long as possible. Yeah, right. So let's see after midday today, but uh, at the moment I think there's... Uh, uh, two, possibly three of the committee uh, 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 who might vote for a, uh, an interest rate review. Okay. Um, so and I don't think that's likely to change, actually. Okay. So just before we finish, uh, you may have uh, uh, noticed last week I, I mentioned briefly about our quality control, our quality-related uh, weekly updates, which will tell you stuff about what's happening with regard to um, updated spec specifications on the website. And we'll include that in questionnaires. And uh, so that's for your information. That's very important for you to know what's happening in, in the product, not just with, with regard to the product. Um, and very briefly, I, I, I came across an article um, about almonds in the Central Valley in California and, and the presence of salt in groundwater, perhaps mm. crippling the almond industry. I mean, obviously, the word crippling is a bit of an exaggeration, but high salinity levels in groundwater used for farming has, has been a problem in the Central Valley where 800,000 acres of almonds are harvested. Um, uh, so salt, is salt killing trees? I mean, is this yeah, a huge well, threat? Yeah, it, it's not salt as such, it's uh, boron. And what this does is, uh, just like uh, uh, drinking uh, uh, Coca-Cola when you're thirsty, mm -hmm. because of the ionic concentration of uh, the stuff that you're drinking being higher than your body, <laughs> actually, it's more like sucking water out of your body, right? So that's that's the same kind of effect that we're seeing in these trees. Now, uh, I think last June, we saw some trees which had been affected like this, which is in a, in a pretty narrow stretch in yeah. the, at the top end of the Central Valley of, um, say, Sacramento area. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and here in this region, people are... Uh, uh, prevented from using the water coming down from the hills, yeah. water which is coming from reservoirs which are almost empty, and uh, they've dug uh, very deep wells, and these wells are producing water which is uh, uh, higher in, uh, in salts, in boron, and this is affecting some of the trees, and the effect is on some particular trees the leaves go brown earlier. Mm -hmm. Now, when we went to see them uh, in uh, late June, mid-June, uh, you could see that there's a fine crop of nuts on the trees. Leaves were turning brown, which they would do in three or four weeks anyway. So I, I personally don't think it's a huge effect. And this is only on one variety. Uh, Fritz, if I can remember that correctly. I think it was Fritz, um, which is a pollinator. Yeah. Um, so... Uh, I think uh, I think it's something that's been going on for a long time, and I don't think um, I don't think it's a serious effect. Mm. On the other hand, for a farmer, uh, especially at this time of the year, as we're now coming into harvesting the uh, the 2015 crop, um, 
they're going to look on the downside because they don't want uh, the price to go down. Okay. So I'm going to have to stop you there. Uh, we're running a bit late on time. So thank you for tuning in and we'll see you next week.